Okay, more traditional VTOL. What can I do? So, more traditional VTOL is uh, one on the bottom and one on the tail. And then we sort of mix between the two, right? I mean, I, I could try like a hinge, but I don't know. That's the cargo bay. Well, that's somewhat appropriate. If you've seen the F-35, it opens the top up with the air intake. Rockets to v for VTOL? Yeah, well, I don't like carrying the oxidizer if I don't need to carry the oxidizer. Much simpler? Well, yeah, but if I was going for simple, I probably would just have a rocket for VTOL. I mean, just literally rocket. Um... You and your negativity, honestly. Land vertically on rockets? Well... I mean, Rocket 9 does it all the time. <laughs> I mean, I do not see the problem with that in particular, but... Okay, so that's like that, and our problem is air intakes. We could retain those tanks that we had before. Getting close to the limit there. Uh, point two? Jeez. I really wanted to use these at the tail here on those. Like that. Hmm. That would have been fancy. A little bit too heavy. Well, we can do the same thing and dump a little bit of fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Details, details. But, you know, we have to... Be ambitious here. Gosh darn it. Well, if we're gonna have those pods, we might as well extend the wheelbase out. No, wait, we do have these other action groups. Where did where were you guys before? Hmm. Okay. I don't know if one engine is gonna be enough with even with afterburning. At least it didn't blow up. Well, planes slow down just with drag, right? I don't think... yeah, I don't think it's gonna be... <laughs> no, 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 that's alright. At least it seems to be very well centered. Alright, alright, um... Short takeoff. A little bit ugly with that thing down there, but... See, without the Rotrons, I can do it first try, darn it. I just want to say. Well, it doesn't have a lot of get up and go without afterburning. That... That thing... Is a little bit awkward. Not the most streamlined idea I've ever had. Um, the way planes land? <laughs> I mean, uh, we'll try and land as VTOL as possible, but... I should have dumped the mop propellant. Well, you know, someone might think that with this wing configuration, it was uh, overly ambitious, but no, no, it is fine too. Not the fastest plane ever. Now this can't uh, hover because we've got the. Um, it, it couldn't get itself off the ground 
Well, I mean, if we deplete enough fuel, maybe it can. We'll see. Well, we're past the speed of sound for sure. Well, this has a potentially... Whoa! Innovative way of stopping. <laughs> it can use its belly engine to stop. But that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. It can stall like that. Don't do that. But yes, yeah, stopping on a dime is possible. I actually don't know if this can stall once it's reduced its uh, mass enough. I don't know if we've unlocked the air brakes yet. There's a suspicious little black spot there. No? Is that some sort of curbing rock or something? Or is it just a splotch on the landscape? Did I make that crater? <laughs> is that just there? No, but there's no Kerbal on either. And I don't use parachutes when making planes. Oh, Mr. Doobie, thank you. 196 bits. Also Mass Effect? Well, not many people actually showed up for that. I don't know if I'm going to be doing too much more of that. Though I did update the textures for like Mass Effect 1 as well, so... I don't know. We'll see. I'll give you guys a choice after we do more curling. There are actually numerous ways of landing this. It's more of a question of which way do I want to do. Only one canonical way? I don't know about that. Didn't read that, Cannon. I mean, obviously I could, could just fly it in the normal way. The safe way we could have done already. But I'm gonna try and reduce speed and do it more of a VTOL way. Oh god. Uh, oh, I don't like that leaning forward thing. Uh, no, uh, ooh, ouch. Hmm, I don't know about that leaning forward. That was weird. Yeah, I was going for a Harrier method, but that didn't go quite right. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. We'll think about that. Anyway. <laughs> I think an S toll way would be better. So there's there's the three ways, right? Regular landing, short takeoff and landing, in which case we'd just we'd be able to go like faster, maybe forty meters per second, fifty meters per second. And then there's the straight up V toll way, which was what we got there. Um that didn't work so well. But we can try again. Hmm. But I don't like the way the engine is right now. Um, let's have a different way of attaching this. It seems like it's too big, physically. I don't know if anything else would be preferable though. It's got at least thrust vectoring. That's hugely important. Yeah, I, I, the Juno engines don't have thrust vectoring, so I don't like that. Aerospike, same problem. Os we tried the Osprey method before, that was the tilt tilting them. I don't think we can tilt them because the rototrons don't work. We tried that already. I think it's time for the cubic octagonal strut. Art clipping cheats. Well, he would just make a new part, so that's super cheats. You know, since that engine's gonna be on no matter what, 
maybe, well, maybe we should ju have just turned that engine off actually. But I'm thinking of maybe the this one should be tilted forward a bit just to counteract that, but I don't know. That's finicky business. I wonder if the engine would work even if the the, the bay doors were closed. Okay, so SAS. We should have dumped some more fuel and see if this could lift off properly on its own. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Oh, so how much thrust does this make? Uh, uh there'd be only 12.4 tons that it can carry. Well, we're trying to even out the toastiness. Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's just lighten it up. I mean, I could easily light this engine in order to have it do its thing, but... Um, we can see if we can get off the ground vertically first. What's our mass? 14? That's still not quite enough. Oh, we can just empty those. This is not going to be a long flight. We'll see. I just want to see how it handles going straight up. This may be bad. Okay. <laughs> I still haven't dumped the mop propellant. Okay. Uh, uh. This is the wiggliness some of you were talking about. Ah, uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah. Yeah, there's definitely that problem. So how do we deal with that? Well, first we have to recover. Partly that's down to SAS not being a fly-by-wire system, to be honest. If we had uh, atmospheric autopilot, that wouldn't even be an issue, I don't think. We need we well we we I think we need more yaw authority maybe. Ooh 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 ooh. ooh. Ow, gosh darn it! You had to take the engine, didn't you? We could try uh, putting on a reaction wheel, but I don't really like that idea. One thing you'll notice on the Harrier is that it actually has little landing gear on the edges, <laughs> on the wings, and it has inline landing gear. It's an interesting arrangement. Uh, we actually needed two of those. To be honest, um, we'd be better off with uh, yaw surfaces that are further back to the here. Can't land a plane on the black grass around KSC? I mostly land planes on the grass. <laughs> uh. Okay, well that'll give us more yaw authority. Shouldn't have changed the uh, center of... Uh, why is the center of thrust that far ahead though? I guess this, these two? Wow, they make more of a difference than I thought. Still, it's further ahead than I was expecting. Uh, and actually, uh, one thing that the Harrier does, the Harrier actually has little RCS ports to help it with roll when it's at slow speed. We could do that. That's technically not cheating since the Harrier does it. But we would need to uh, carry some... Mop, well, we are, we are carrying mop propellant. Maybe we should use it. I don't know. In a way, it sort of makes sense to have the bay door parented to RCS now. Because those should only be on when we are actually using the center line engine. Skull is three. Pretty different. But yeah, so... That's how the Harrier does it. I think it uses oxygen, gaseous oxygen for the for the thrusters.
Oh. We're not actually... We used a little bit of mob propellant. Okay, now let's activate engine number two. Oh, I forgot to have that thrust limiter up. <laughs> Going like, we aren't accelerating. Now this, it takes somebody with some experience to do, <laughs> admittedly. This is not your normal sort of aircraft arrangement. But we don't have a whole lot of fuel if we want. And that's true of Harrier as well. Harrier cannot carry its full load and still take off vertically from the ground. So this is like the Harrier in that respect as well. Notice that, um, well, we're not carrying our uh, all that fuel. We can accelerate pretty well because of that. Uh, without Afterburner, we weren't accelerating very well when carrying the full load before. Though I suspect that sort of covering up the drag from the centerline engine helps a little bit. Now obviously I know I could land this normally. I mean the little things on the tail will cause a little bit of a problem, but and me ablate off, but I think the point is to try and land it vertically or near vertically again. So that's gonna be tricky. Well I guess we can see if it can do the sound barrier without after burning. No. I don't think it can go past the speed of sound. That's alright, we're not gonna push it. I mean, of course, with Afterburner it will, but... Uh... Or, we aren't supposed to be... Oh, it occurs to me that the VTOL engine is still on, isn't it? No, it's just... I don't know. <laughs> uh, was it on all this time? It must have been. I've, I think I forgot to shut it down. Hold on, we actually have to... That... Um, shut that one off. Activate afterburning on this one. Only if I try to land on the top of the VAB is it gonna go boom, darn it. I know there's... I know there's a helicopter pad. I know. Oh, 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 it's going wacky, it's going wacky. It's not liking it, it's not liking it. Uh... Uh-oh, no, 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 don't go backwards. Backwards is bad. Oh, forwards is bad too in certain circumstances.
Oh, ow, oh. Oh, 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 no, don't do that. <laughs> Please. Stop. Okay, hold on. Uh, brakes. <laughs> oh. Down, please. Uh. They're, they're tough to fly, these things. <laughs> okay. Low tech? They're, they're the best tech. Uh, hold on, let's recover. I, I know you were sure I was going to go boom. You kept saying so! <laughs> we need to save this, make sure none of the changes that I made are unsaved or anything. <laughs> do it again. I could probably do it better now that I know what the heck was going on. I think I've accomplished something. I'm gonna take a break. I've been at it for three hours. You guys can take a look at this. I need to maybe share it. You know what? That's a better plan. Let me Dropbox this craft file and then you guys can fire up Kerbal and try it for yourself and see if you can manage it. Fucking Bronco. Because that's certainly what it uh, reminded me of. Now, right now it's not fully fueled, okay? So remember. But that means it can get off the ground, um, VTOL. But if you want, uh, you can fully, fully fuel it, then you can't get off the ground VTOL. You'll have to use some of the forward thrust. Anyway, uh, I, I'm gonna try it out with full fuel and see how far and fast it can go. Uh, maybe, maybe in honor of this, we should just go ahead and upgrade the... How much does the SPH upgrade take? Oh my god, no, that's not... The, the runway, the runway, the runway. Okay, I'll take the runway upgrade. Okay. We'll still... We'll short take off and landing it. No, oh, I forgot to up this one. And I'm thinking that I don't need afterburner in order to short take off and landing it. Uh, I should shut off that one. I'm just drinking water right now. So, because we're fully loaded with fuel, uh, the engine can't make us go that fast. Um, let's see... I, I sort of want to go over land. Let's go north and see how far we go. That seems like a better idea than going east or west necessarily. Oh, I, oh, uh, Bluegill, did you... Uh, I, I might have had it down to thrust limit zero to get the... The vector, the vertical vector, you might want to make sure the thrust limit is 100. I like this thing too. I should make more of these sorts of things. It's not the most efficient thing in the world. Well, actually, uh, you know, there was... Uh, Proposal to allow our astronauts to drink on Skylab, but some prudes shot that down, unfortunately. They were originally going to get an allotment of sherry, of all things. But, um, nope. No luck. It can reach the... well, it should reach the island runway. You landed it? Okay, you landed it upside down. <laughs> well, it has most of its pieces, that's good. Well, we're past Mach 2. Okay, now it's really going. Finally got this thing moving. Do 
Jeez, it's it's really going now. We broke through that critical level. Uh, we we seem to be topping out a bit. Mach two point six, or thereabouts. Okay, it's going down now. Pretty efficient right now too. At the current rate, it could run for an hour. I did not plan that. Uh oh! Oh no! We have no control. Um, I forgot about that. Well, if we keep going in this general direction, we'll eventually pick up that location, I suppose. But we're we're sort of tilted a little bit. But Kerbal's in yours. Well, there are pluses and minuses to that. Uh, it might get a little bit high. We'll see if it levels out at some point. Okay, it's it's actually stalling out a bit. It's going down and losing speed at the same time. I don't know if this is going to survive. But fuel-wise, I mean, you can take a look at how much ground we covered and, you know, could easily make it to the pole with proper communication. Boom is highly likely. I'll give you that. Well, I'm got a physical time warp at this point. Oh, that might have been a bad idea. We'll see. No! Oh, Jeez. Physical time warp, uh, not a good idea. What a surprise. <laughs> Best plane in the world. No, not at this juncture. I believe we have identified at least one thing missing from it. A good antenna. You get no plumes? Why? Do you have afterburner on? Yeah, if it's just uh, normal mode, uh, there's no afterburner plume. Um, I set the afterburners to one and two. One for the center line and two for the tail. Well... Barafel eventually got his wish. No, well, we already got that Drez thing. Anything interesting? Bring volcanic rock with you. On Eve, back to Kerbin. No. <laughs> Save Filney Kerman from Orbit of Duna. That's pretty lucrative. We've done a lot of Duna things, but you know. I don't want... Ludred and Ludred scrap though, but then we get we have the claw All right, so station around the moon and Then do no things we'll think about all right 